Hi, welcome again to Qtile. Qtile, amongst other desktop and uh, window tiling managers, uses Compton, and Compton is, is quite important, but Compton can be also a little bit tricky. So all you need to do is gather knowledge about Compton, really. If you go and have a look at articlenix.com and you search for the word Compton, if you do that, you get lots of articles here. If you do the same on the channel of Eric Dubois here on YouTube and you type in the word Compton, you'll see that it's, well, a word that occurs a lot of times. I don't know if we can see how much, how many videos are actually using the word Compton, but quite a few. So it's explained in the time when it was still, Arclinux was still called Arch Merch. But there are also videos that are more recent in the sense that Arch Linux is, has a numbering system. So uh, we are at, at 800, 900, I believe. So the higher the number, the more recent information is. So in Xmonad, we're using it, it as well, the content, etc., etc. But YouTube is just a support system all for, for the, the site here. So it says here all information regarding content and content.com. Does this sounds to me like that's a good thing to test out, to have a look at it. So in January 2019, Compton has received a major update. Compton is a package, meaning you can analyze a package with Pacman, and not uh, Pacman, Pac, uh, Pamac AOR. That's the one you can type in Compton and analyze. Somebody is making Compton for us. The somebody is this name, if you can pronounce it, that's good. So issue or something, Compton, and it gives us, well, dependencies, but files, of course. It gives us in this particular folder, a Compton.conf and an example, and of course the application Compton itself and all the others, its needs and requires. But it's always, changing we are almost at six point already at six point two and here we're talking about version four to five so the previous developers stopped with it these guys have taken up the efforts and time and energy to improve compton because compton is going to give you these three elements some shading if you like it some transparency and fading so effects for your windows to to manage your windows to make your windows look nice and your terminals transparent. So that's Compton for you. If you don't like Compton, don't start Compton. But in this uh, configuration of Qtile, it is launched. Now, Compton is a little bit tricky in the sense that there are, first off, there's an SSD or hard disk setup and there's a virtual box thing. So it's, it's separate, you can't make um, or it's better not to make a configuration that's suitable for both of them. It's not because it's depending on the hardware. So we have um, some information in here. You can follow it along, but there are some very major things that you can do. Let's try switching XRender with GLX or GLX with XRender. So switch it around. And you can experiment with Compton settings. We're making a video about it here. The Arch Wiki Compton, you have a look here. Or eventually, if there is an issue, you can report issues here. But since Compton is constantly uh, in development, this is no longer used. And, and it's, it's always a way to figure out what's wor what works on your system. And that's basically my message now. So where is this Compton on Qtile? You go ahead and go to your Qtile in the scripts, you have the Compton.conf. And every every time, time to time we change our Compton, we say, this seems to be a little bit better, this seems to be a little bit better. And we change the Compton, but we back it up here. So because it's that essential, if we change it and it's not suitable for you, you can always find your backup system here. Now, the Compton.conf is something you open up with whatever you like, eh? Atom, for instance, and you can have a look at this code. They were talking about a change up GLX to XRender. So at this point in time, I'm working with a GLX backend and not an XRender 
backend. The only thing you to do is, if you want to change and try it out, is control save and then reboot and see if XRender works for you. That's the first thing you do if things get, if you have an issue with content. But there will be, and certainly in the future, there will be things that will go away so that the elements that are now well not not uh, without hashtags so let's go to Perl, which is also always a good thing to check out everything that's now colorful is actually used and everything else is not used so these guys are just is just uh, info right so everything that's now colorful is used but maybe in the future things will change and the fading is not fading but it's called something else and and elements that are should be false or should be true or change things or elements that uh, are completely renamed like this one was renamed recently so um yeah the thing is this thing will evolve and if you find your setting for your machine that's when you'd make a copy and say i'm gonna put this on dropbox or somewhere safe where you have a backup so that content works on any uh, system because you've seen maybe at the bottom of the page if you know um, a particular that a particular content conf is going to work for your system your hardware then it will work on all these guys so there are already six desktop environments that use content but it's like i said it's going to be well a an, an trial and error thing because of the fact that it depends on hardware but also on the fact that content is on their constant development so it's gonna change anyway okay so the content maybe one last look at the etc xdg there you'll find files content.conf maybe you try and have a look at this guy so what's in here and what's in here it's gonna differ and these guys are not coming from us these guys are coming from content itself we have our own content file I believe <laughs> any of the distros have their own content file but it's uh, well it's under development so it's always gonna be a work in progress and um, you just adapt that's what we do just adapt follow along now there is also something to be said about our own content conf let's go back to this one there's also a content toggle sh okay what's this this content toggle sh is as simple as if content is running then kill content else if it's not running then then you run this particular content conf file so it's a toggle thing and um, the toggle thing can be looked at in here i think let's go for control find content in here there is a command that says use the control alt content so so alt control that's it alt control o let's see alt control o is going to toggle off let's start for instance termites so we can see it Control alt o oh that's wrong Control alt o is gonna toggle off and toggle on our content so content is taking care of transparency fading and something else that i forgot now let's have a look transparency fading and shading transparency and fading okay so either you want it or you don't want it that's all up to you if you want to not if you don't want to launch content that's as simple as going to auto start and say never mind this content i don't want it so just put a hashtag in front of it and it won't be launched that's basically everything you need to know about content i don't think i've forgotten anything um, so go ahead give it a try or choose not to use it it's up to you okay have fun